Hello Pisces, welcome to another Mystic Unicorn reading. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So I'm going to dive into this for you Pisces. We're going to give this five shuffles and we will see what messages we have for you in regards to love at this time. For my Pisceans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what love messages do we have for Pisces at this time, please? Spirit, this is one. For my Pisces, this is two. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is three. Four Pisces. What is that? There's something on my bell here, you guys. And I don't... Where the hell did that come from? What is that? That's weird. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is three. Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have in regards to love for Pisces? This is four. And this is five. What is that? There's this like blue liquid. Stop distracting yourself, Eric. Let's focus on the task at hand, shall we? And then we'll fix that later. Okay. What's going on for Pisces? <laughs> Sorry, guys. What messages do we have for you at this time, please, Pisces? Temperance. All right, but Temperance wanted to come out face down. So that's telling me that there is an energy underneath the surface. Pisces, you're needing to find balance with the past. You have Temperance with the Six of Cups, with the Knight of Cups, but then one more card here. It is, it is energies, more energies under the surface. Um, but okay, so Pisces. Ooh. So Pisces, with Temperance coming out first... And when it came out of the deck initially, it was face up. But then as I tried to, as I dropped it down to the table, it turned, uh, it turned face down. So what I feel like is happening here, Pisces, is you are coming to the realization that there are some past circumstances when it comes to love, past relationships that you need to find balance with. For some of you, there may be someone from the past that's coming back to reconcile. Maybe even to make you a new offer. However, Pisces... I'm going to say that I'm not really all that sure that rekindling this relationship is what's actually necessary here. Even if that person comes back wanting to rekindle the relationship, what I'm feeling the strongest for you, Pisces, is that it would actually probably be much better if you were, if you two were to like, you know, get some closure together or like talk things out a little bit, you know, blah, 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 but then end the situation there. I'm not sure rekindling this situation is necessary or beneficial. Overall, yeah, because then also overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Wands. And what I'm getting for some of you is that this person that you have this, this history with in the past is not good with boundaries. And maybe that's why you guys were an item or a thing for whatever, however amount of time you were an item or a thing. Because either you or the cross watcher here, somebody here was lacking in those boundaries initially. And you guys broke up somehow, maybe because someone started to assert boundaries or whatever. You guys split. But then now this person could be coming back with an offer that makes them sound or seem much wiser than they are. But in terms of that, Pisces... Someone needs to hold boundaries. And if this same individual is still lacking in the respect for boundaries, Pisces, then you know that this is not a, a, a rekindling type of situation. Maybe you guys can gain some closure. You can hash it out. You can leave things on a good, in a good place. But if this person is still lacking in, a boundary, in, in awareness and respect for boundaries, then this is not something you want to rekindle. Let's look at this card, the energies underneath the surface here. Ah, look at that, the Six of Swords, but it's in reverse. Oh, Pisces, this is giving me so many things. So many things. Um, 
For some of you, Pisces, there is a refusal to move on, potentially by you or maybe this other person. There is either a refusal to move on or a blockage from moving on. However, Pisces, the strongest thing that I'm feeling here is that someone is lacking in respect for boundaries and is not wanting to move on. And you're really like the, the, the biggest message, however this resonates for you, Pisces, the biggest message here is someone could be coming back around wanting to rekindle a relationship, but this person notoriously does not respect boundaries. And this person re uh, 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 showing up in your life again is kind of a test either for somebody here to see how well they can hold their ground without allowing this person to emotionally manipulate them. Knight of Cups. Even though with this Knight of Cups energy, Pisces, which ultimately can represent you, 555 five, five on the counter, because I see the, the Knights and the Pages as representative of the mutable signs and in the water element, that would be Pisces. So maybe it's the Piscean or a Piscean that's coming back. That makes perfect sense because sometimes Pisces can really be um, unaware of boundaries which I don't mean that in a disrespectful way because Pisces, you are the realm of the 12th house, which is the house of God in, 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 some, in some terms, which is also the house of the collective. So when it comes to this collective level, there often tends to be a lack of boundaries. So I understand that. I don't want you to be offended by that. Um, and I've lost my, I'm so sorry. I lost my train of thought here, but, oh, the Knight of Cups being emotionally manipulative. You have to understand, even though this person may be coming back having evolved from a page to a knight, having gone through some sort of emotional transformation, uh, moved to a new level of emotional maturity, you have to understand that even with the knight here, there is still the possibility. Well, even, even the king and the queen, there's still a possibility of this, but there is a marked difference here. With this knight of cups, someone may not actually be at the maturity level that they need to be at. Also, this Knight of Cups could be an emotionally manipulative individual, whether he's aware, he or she is aware of it or not. And even if they are not aware of it, that's still quite dangerous. So even though this person may be coming back telling you I'm sorry or saying that they've changed, you have to keep very close attention, Pisces, because the fact of the matter here is that balance is needed. And with this Seven of Wands defensive position that I'm gaining, or I, I feel like you've gained here, or maybe that you're maintaining, or you need to meet, be maintaining, you have to be very clear. You have to be very conscious of how this person works. Because if you get any sort of lacking in, in, in boundaries or a, a, a awareness of boundaries or something like that, then this person is not in alignment. I hope this is making sense, Pisces. But I feel like let's move on here because I've spent almost 10 minutes talking about that. <laughs> What's next for Pisces, please, Spirit? Mm, okay. What's next for Pisces? All right, I want to get more card, but they're wanting me to talk about this first. Three of Swords, Ace of Wands. The first thing that I get for this, Pisces, is that somebody wanting somebody is wanting to do make things right. There is a marked level of immaturity here, and I don't mean that in a, in a derogatory or an offensive way. Because ultimately, even though there is still a marked level of immaturity here, or lacking in the ultimate maturity, I guess... Knight of Cups, it still feels like this person is either trying or is actually growing. And that is a really, really good thing. Because what I'm getting here from this Pisces is that there is a Three of Swords, Ace of Wands energy. There's some sort of inspiration and I'm hearing it's inspiration to make things right. I'm also hearing make ends meet. Okay. So in terms of that, someone may be coming back wanting to put forth the effort that they may have lacked in or slacked in in the past. But it's so much more complicated than that, Pisces. And I feel like this is a really difficult position for you to be in if this is resonating for you because it's not just about somebody going off on their own way or you guys going into separation and somebody learning and growing a little bit, you know, and feeling confident that they want to come back and try things again and be the better person than they were before. But there's still something that's lacking. 
it's almost as if someone doesn't realize how big of a gap they need to bridge here. And someone is very excited, but maybe overzealous. And, and I understand your compassion, Pisces, or maybe I'm picking up on the compassion of whomever the cross watcher is here. Um, recognizing the desire to change and grow and try again, but there's still a feeling within you like, but it's still not enough. And I don't want to break this person's heart, but I know better at this point, And this is just not enough still. Oh boy. Okay. What's, what else? Uh, I heard one more card, but maybe two. I don't know. What else? Spirit. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. I'm sorry. I forgot to look at the bottom of the deck and the three of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Again, yes, somebody has worked on themselves here and someone may even be ready to co-create or be in some sort of greater form of partnership than they were before. But is it enough? I heard not really. There's still more, there's still more to go. There's still more to do. There's still more to learn. There's still more to change. Ooh, yeah. Yikes. Okay, well, you have the Eight of Cups here. You also have the Tower at the bottom of the deck. And then you have this card, which is energies underneath the surface. The Sun. This is going to break somebody's heart. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. And I also just heard I'm, I'm trying not to. I'm not trying to break this person's heart. I'm not trying to shatter someone. But the fact of the matter is the reality of the situation here. The blinding and maybe even searing, scalding truth. The sun what someone is failing to see or recognize, maybe they're even refusing to recognize the sun is that this is just not going to work. Eight of cups. And then we have the tower moment. This is, unfortunately, this is going to break somebody's heart. And what I'm feeling here, uh, Pisces, I almost said Scorpio, maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio, but what I'm hearing here, Pisces, is that somebody may have gone into separation with you thinking clearly, I'm hearing, that if they shape up a little bit, you'll be able to try this again. Unfortunately, what I'm also feeling here, Scorpio, it, again, Scorpio, we're not talking to Scorpio, we're talking to Pisces. Maybe watch the Scorpio reading, but, or maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio, or maybe you have a Scorpio placement. But what I'm also feeling here is through that separation, some, the other person here really wised up. I'm seeing the hanged man got a huge change in perspective. And while they may have been in agreement in the beginning of this separation, thinking, yes, if we do this and we go our separate ways and work on each other, foolproof, we'll be able to get back together and everything will be okay. But that separation enlightened someone more than they were expecting. And now they're coming out of that separation saying, yeah, this actually really is not going to work at all. For any given reason, you guys. But that's where the tower comes in. And this could probably, on an emotional level, set somebody back. Or at least it seems like it may set somebody back. But as much as it sets somebody back, it's also ultimately, once you or they get through it, it's also going to shoot you forward just as much, maybe even more. Okay? This is a massive learning experience. I really hope this is making sense. But I definitely want to clarify. I want to clarify. Three shuffles. This is one. Okay. All right. Part of why this separation didn't work, Pisces, is because Four of Pentacles, the magician. Somebody was trying to hold on to a certain foundation and continue manifesting from that place. And this may be why this is going to be such a shock, such a tower moment to someone, why it's going to feel like it's going to set them back. It may turn someone reclusive for a hot second, but that's because they're going to be under the realization that the, 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 the foundation that they were coming from, that they were trying to manifest this situation from is not adequate and needs to be replaced. And that's going to be, a, that's definitely going to be a blow to someone's ego. All right, Pisces, three shuffles here. <laughs> yeah, the king of pentacles. This is probably someone that's really stubborn, really entrenched in their ways. And I don't mean that disrespectfully. At least maybe someone is being stubborn. Maybe there is some sort of belief system that this individual has 
thinking that they're still that they can still use this foundation just make some minor adjustments here or there nope it's going to take a complete restructuring re re uh rebuilding of certain foundations and that's exactly what the tower represents in general right okay three sh four i'm sorry four shuffles one oh come now come on four shuffles one okay Two. Three. And four. All right. Really the only thing I want to clarify here for you, Pisces, is the sun with the eight of cups. So why is it, why is it that someone, it is necessary for someone to walk away? To leave this relationship behind altogether. Wow. All right. Well, the king of pentacles is still at the bottom of the deck. Fundamentally, this person really hasn't changed all that much. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I'm just saying, King of Pentacles, fundamentally, this person really hasn't changed. The sun with the eight of cups. What is this for Pisces? Please, spirit, five of pentacles. King of swords. Five of wands. Nine of wands. The hermit. The fool. Whoa. Whoa. And then overall energy is the moon, the illusion. I'm getting a lot here, Pisces, so I'm gonna give, do my best to, to channel this for you. But I, first of all, I want you to recognize that you have the sun and the moon here. Someone has gained the clarity and someone is still living in an illusion. This illusion represented by the moon is the exact reason why someone is needing, is deciding that they have no other choice but to just walk away from this. Why is that? Well, because this illusion, I'm hearing illusions of grandeur, but this comes from a lack mentality, five of pentacles, and that's actually directly relating to the king of pentacles. Because the king of pentacles is an entrenched individual that wants to dominate the situation. And I don't mean, I, I don't necessarily mean this maliciously, but they want to, or at least they feel they need to, or they have grown up being conditioned to believe that they have to dominate this situation in some sort of physical way to take care of somebody, to be there for somebody. But what is not understood here, what is not recognized in this illusion, Pisces, is that even though the person is stepping up as the king of pentacles saying, I will take care of you, they are coming from a lack mentality point of view. They mirror the same lack mentality that their potential partners mirror in terms of resonating with each other in this way. And that's something that they don't realize. Whomever the king of pentacles is in this situation. They don't realize that they are vibing low vibrationally with that same lack mentality situation as the people that they are trying to care for, trying to provide for, this, that, and the third. They have the same exact belief system. The tower, the same exact belief system that needs to come down. But this person doesn't see it this way. They don't recognize it within themselves. But you do. Whomever has gotten the clarity here recognizes it. Okay, so fine. So then you can argue about it, five of wands, and I feel like there has been a, a little, at least a little bit of a tiff in someone saying, I don't believe that. I'm not lack mentality. What are you talking about? I'm abundant. I have all these resources. How could I be that? But they don't want to accept or admit the fact that they share the same beliefs as the individuals that they are aligning with, even if they are on top of that alignment. You have to believe the same things to align yourself with those energies, right? Even if you see it from a different point of view, even if you are on top, even if you are the one that's saying, I will come through and provide for you. Okay, that's a differing of opinion. Doesn't matter, king of swords. Doesn't matter. Because the fact of the matter is, we've been pursu pursuing with this for so long, but it's time to let this go. And why is it time to let this go? The fool with the hermit. 
because someone recognizes, someone sees it internally for themselves and thus is able to break free from the illusion. Now, Pisces, none of this feels like it has any animosity within it. Even if maybe the King of Pentacles here is kind of raging against this, but that's really only the, their ego flaring and them having difficulty accepting the reality of their own belief system. Thus, the situation needs to be ended, walked away from. Oh, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you are new here, I highly consider that you subscribe. Yes, welcome to the Unicorn Herd. If you enjoyed this reading, if you would like to show some support to the channel, or if you would like to claim any of the energies in this reading for yourself, definitely go ahead and slap that like button for me. Yes. And as always, leave me a comment in the comment section down below, Pisces. I love hearing from you guys. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and i look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very very soon yes beauty bye